Hello, I'm Filip Manilov and today I'll be going to the Royal Air Force Museum. It is not quite central, so I'll have to take a tube and it's about 40 minutes ride. And then once I'm there, let's see what it's like. Let's get into the video. I'm near Old Street now, this is where I'll be taking the tube from and for you who don't know, maybe tube in London is what they call underground or well, metro or subway or anything train related that moves under the surface of earth this is where I'm going and yeah, see you there I was looking at that building and I'm just wondering how do you build something like that? Why is there like so many different contradicting styles? Literally, what's going on with these volumes? I guess it's Colin Dale. That's how it goes. A wonderfully built seat. I love that so we can shoot from the back, someone's behind. So this one is mainly for submarine reconnaissance and I presume it can land on water due to the shape of its hull. Just got out of the first building and there were really impressive aircrafts down there. Very well built. It's quite exciting how they made it out of sheets of aluminium put it all together wow it flies such an impressive technology moved to a different building and there we saw a very uncommon thing it's a propeller press so the wood is layered and I think it's glued together. Yeah, it does say it's glued together. And then pressed. It's a very loud museum. There's a lot of kids. And because it's an empty space, very echoey. I have to come here in the headphones. So 
this is called the Sopwith triplane and apparently it's very light and easy to maneuver it has only one seat and there's just two remaining one is here and one is in Russia very unusual it was almost lost in 1945 but then they managed to save it and restore it Take a look at the bottom of the planes. They have a lighter color. They're essentially designed like fish. They have a blue or lighter color at the bottom, so when you look up, they appear quite light. And from the top, they're darker, as in the color of the forest or the background. It's a Strand Rayer, a general reconnaissance flying boat. This is Panavia Tornado F3 Interceptor Fighter. Jet Provost G5A. Double Scorpion, that's what it's called. Won an air race in 1953 from London to New Zealand. 23 hours, 51 minutes. Powered by a rocket engine.
this one is part of the fueling airplane. Just finished with the Royal Air Force Museum. It was absolutely amazing. So everyone, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. See you in the next video.